Don't miss out on the special offer from my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They're currently giving you 20% off if you use my coupon code Poodle at checkout and also giving you an additional 10% coins at checkout. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. Today, I'm going to be showing you guys how to use a power up pass. Now, this might be common knowledge to a lot of people. It, it is. But the thing is here is that I remember last year when they first got dropped, a lot of people, almost the whole community, had no idea how to use them. And I wasn't going to make this video because I was like exactly that. Like, people aren't going to see this. But I've been getting a lot of comments how to use a power pass, how do they work, when should I use them, who should I use them on. So, so yesterday I made the video on who should I use them on for 87 to 88. I'm going to be going down. Obviously, I started with the highest one just because it was the first thing on my mind. I'm going to be doing the 62 to 81 power pass and the 82 to 84. And then the, what's the last one? 85 to 86. I did the 87 to 88. But I was thinking, I was like, there's a whole influx of new MUP players coming in right now. We have no idea. I have a lot of friends in real life that have literally been asking me. So for that reason, I decided I'm just going to make it real quick. Go in in-depth detail of what a power pass is. Now, a power pass is one of the greatest things they've added in MUD in the last 10 years. Of however, well, MUD has been around like, what, 7 years? 8 years? 9? Whatever, you guys get the point. A power pass is awesome because it allows players... It allows two things. Right? So people with a lot of coins, like I have a lot of coins, I have a lot of good team. For me, it's just a way to save coins. So let's say I, I use it on a player. I'll explain how in a second. I use it on a player. I can now sell back that player if I already have him and make the coins back. But it's also one of the best things for no money spent because no money spent players are now able to get players they couldn't have dreamed of having before. Like Khalil Mack, the 87, 88. You can never be like, with no money spent, I'm not going to get 300K for an outside linebacker. That's crazy on this team. I have to be efficient and I have to be budgety. But with the power pass, it's free. It's just, it's done. It's a little bit of training. This does require training. Not a ton, just a little bit. But just enough but it's definitely it's just the most worthwhile thing ever i'm always so excited for my power passes now if you guys want to know how to get these power passes before i keep going any further it's going to take place in missions it comes by leveling up but i'm gonna tell you where so you're gonna go down see where i am right here missions go down to series progression mutt level so you get these per mutt level not every mutt level but mode oh you get about let's see you get about three to four 62 to 81s Two eighty-two to eighty-fours, two eighty-five to eighty-six, or something like that, and then one eighty-seven to eighty-eight. So I'm about to get my last one at level fifty, which is the best one right now in the game, the eighty-seven to eighty-eight. So this one gets you; it can get you any of the best players in the game besides the legends. Well, unless he's an eighty-eight legend, but I think they started eighty-nine. So the point here is, is that there's multiple types of them, and you get them from leveling up. You get one of them within like the first fifteen levels. You get another one within the first twenty levels. You get another one within twenty to thirty levels. You get a ton. You get a ton this year compared to last year. I think it's a little more than last year, but it's only one of the top tier ones. But the 85 to 86 is you do get two of them and those are really, really awesome. I actually just used one. I'll show you guys who I used them on after, toward, toward, more towards the end of the video. Let me go show you what they look like in case anyone's still confused. Don't comment down below dumb things like, oh, this was so obvious. I know I, I knew it because realistically guys, I know that, but not everyone, not everyone knows that. So what I, I still have an 85 and 86, 85 to 86 and 82 to 84. 82 to 84, 62 to 81, and a 62 to 81. So that means that I could get five free elite players, theoretically, with training. So this is what they look like. This is the one I have right now that I want to use. But the issue right now, the only issue in Madden right now is that all the players that are good to use these power passes on, their power up players are crazy expensive. Because people know, like, let's say, so I like Jamal Adams, right? I want the power up Jamal Adams and use a power pass on him. So his power up goes to like 50k, which is insane. But it only goes for that because he's a, he's a beast, and because that's one of the best 84s to use. So the, typically, you want to get the best player from the power pass. You could use an 85 or 86, but typically, I'd like to go in the 86 end, unless there's an awesome 85 that's over expensive like Tyreek Hill. But then Tyreek Hill's power up's 80k. So, so just to clarify, the way this works is that it takes the place of an elite player. So you'd power up, let's say this Travis Kelsey, this Mitchell Schwartz as a keep to lead right here. You'd power them up all the way to, like, let's say Travis Kelsey has a 76 overall. Let me go into this uh, to show you guys. Okay, so 14 training, 19 training, 126 training, 175 training, 335. So that's it. It's going to cost you about, I'd say about five, six, like 650 training, which isn't that much. 650 training. And now you're here, right? You're at his item. You got to put his item in. This is the beauty of the power pass. Right here, I can click upgrade. 
and I could put item in. I could use the power pass the 85 to 86, toss them in there. Now I have an 87 Travis Kelsey without actually buying the card. Now, people don't always understand like where to use it, how to use it, but that is exactly what it is. It pretty much takes the place. It is a pass. It's like like pass, like a, a haul free. Just go, take the card. I love this because I see it as a free elite. So for me, I've already done like three players with that. And once the train, once power players aren't ridiculously expensive, and to show you guys what I mean, I'll show you what I'm talking about. So you guys can understand what I'm talking about power players. They're crazy expensive right now. Like, so I want to do Jamal Adams, like I said. So you're going to see pretty much if you guys think it's a good idea, like a good idea to power someone up, they probably go for a ton of coins because everyone else has the same idea. The game obviously hasn't officially dropped yet. So there's going to be more power ups. going to be more, not more peep types of power ups. And there's going to be a lot more on the block, a lot cheaper. Okay. So. I'm going to show you guys the one I want to do for the 82 to 84s. So it was Jamal Adams. And as you can see, I mean, it'd be ironic if I could find one for really cheap right now, but probably not. He's 47K. So in this case, it's not worth it because his elite cargo is 50K. If you have the coins and you really want them, I guess it breaks even. But with my, with my power pass, I like to save coins and get a really good player. So in the case where it saves coins, it's like this. So let's go to the Rams. Let's go to Aaron Donald. Now, Aaron Donald should be about 20 something K. Wow, he went up. He's 60K now. Wow. Okay, so Aaron Donald, it still would make sense though, because Aaron Donald's 59K, but his, his elite goes for 250. So if you powered it, if you, if you bought this for 50, 60K, you powered it up for another like 15K worth of trading, and then you just use the power pass, it would cost you about 75, 70K to 75K for a completely powered up, better than the base elite like, uh, Aaron Donald. So the only way I spend a lot of money on these power passes is if the training card will say will save me money. So in Jamal Adams case, it will not because he's 50K. His base card goes for 40K. So I actually lose 10K. I'd rather just keep his elite for now. Now, another one it would work with would be Tyreek Hill with the Chiefs. But Tyreek Hill is too, but he's too close to it. I'm not a fan of that. I'm going to wait till Tyreek Hill comes down. See, I can get Tyreek Hill for like 45, 50K. I'll do it. But if it's anything like last year, Tyreek Hill sat at this price for damn near all year. All the way towards like the, the dead when Madden started to die is when he actually went down. Now for the 80 to 81. So one guy I specifically did it on was Andrew Norwell. Because this one, guys, this is like a budget, a budget beast type thought with Andrew Norwell. So he's 15k. If you use your power passing him, I'll show you guys now. If you use your power passing him, you can get him to an 81 elite. And then he has a theme builder you could power pass for 1,300 training. Because there's no left guards in this game. If you want a left guard, you're going to have to pretty much power someone up. And Andrew Norwell is probably the best bet. Look at these stats on, on linemen. Obviously, not, they're not the best, but he's really good. He's an 87 overall. And I got, and this is like the prime example of a power pass. I power passed him, and then I power passed him again with training because you can actually power pass theme builds, which means that you can use training to bypass the theme builder card. You don't have to play all those tedious solos. So just a little tip. Andrew Norwell is kind of a beast on that. And uh, the power passes in general, awesome, awesome ad to Mutt. I hope you guys can get some use out of these cards. I hope you guys figure out how to use them for the most part. Hope this video was helpful, guys. And if you're, if you're new here and you're new to Mutt in general, that means that you probably don't know what they are, what they, what, what they do. So I hope this was helpful to you guys. I hope you guys found this informational. And if you guys already clicked off because you know what this is, that's fine too. It's all good. Just trying to inform everyone. Power passes are my favorite thing in Madden. They're one of my favorite things by far. Look, I got an Andrew Norwell for cheap. I got, oh, uh, what's it called? I got Aaron Donald powered up. And then once I get my 87 to 88 power pass, I'll probably end up selling my Donald and then just putting in. So I guess another thing you could do, don't forget that you could power down cards. So let's say I have Aaron Donald powered up 88. I could take his top piece off, sell his elite and put the power pass in replace of it. And I just made 260K. It is literally the best thing that Madden's ever done. And that, I mean, people might dispute training stuff, but I really love it. That's your abilities. Everything that comes with training is really awesome to me. I really do appreciate how this works. And don't forget, guys, in the next series update, if you guys don't know this also, um, there's always a new power pass. So right now it's 87 to 88. In the next series update, there might be an 89 to 90 power pass, then a 90 to 91, then a 91 to 92. And then before the end of the year, it's going to be like 88 to 89. I mean, 90, 98 to 99. So there's always going to be top power passes for every series. It's very useful. So pretty much you can get one free player from every single part of Madden, like every single type of overall, every single tier of overall, you can always get one free player. But guys, that's better for this video. I hope you guys have enjoyed. I hope this was helpful. I hope it was informational. I really hope that you can find use from this video. 
And if you guys liked it, give it a thumbs up. Let's get this video to 50 likes. It'll help me out a lot. It'll mean a lot. I'll show that you guys actually got some use out of it. Also, comment down below who you guys will be using your power passes on, all of them, because I'm also going to probably make a video on all the power passes. So comment down below who you'll be using them on and why. It'll help me out. I'll put it on my video most likely. And then also, if you're new to the channel, subscribe, guys. The channel's booming right now. We've gained about 250 subs in about 30 hours, so keep it going. Hit the sub button and turn on the noti bell to get notified every time I drop a video like this. I'm out. See you guys in the next video.